When it comes to layering your pictures, your objects, or your shapes, in other words, I've got three layers of uh, shapes here. I have blue that's on the top of yellow that's on top of the magenta shape. And actually blue's in front of them all. For example, if I click and drag, you can see blue's in front of yellow, yellow's in front of um, the magenta. And if I want to go ahead and bring the magenta one forward or all the way to the front, I can do it one of two ways. One way is to go ahead and, well, first of all, let me select it is to come up here on its related format tab in the arrange group and you see where it says send backward or send forward well I want to bring it forward if I bring it forward it'll bring it forward one layer at a time so I have to keep clicking on this or click on it twice to bring it all the way to the front or click on the drop down arrow and boom that will bring it right to the front you won't have to bring it forward layer by layer okay so if I click forward brings it one layer ahead of the yellow layer and if I bring it forward again now it's on top and it works vice versa if I want to send it to the back I can send it backward one layer at a time or just click on the drop down arrow and say you're going all the way to the back in which case it's back to where we started here so I've got three layers and you can have five six ten twenty layers of like I said objects pictures or shapes and you want to be able to work with them well, here's something interesting. If I go ahead and click on the uh, blue shape here, and I drag it in front of the magenta so I can't see it, so I'm like, oh, great, how do I get to it? Well, you could click and drag, but what if I want that shape right where it's at? And I don't want to move any of the shapes to get to the ones that are behind it to bring them forward, because otherwise it may mess up my layout. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Then I have these shapes all scattered just to get to the one behind it? No. What I want to do instead is I want to select one shape, and if you hit the tab key on the keyboard, it will go ahead and select the next shape. Hit the tab key again, the next shape. Hit the tab key, and you're going to be cycling through. So because these shapes are basically the exact same size, the magenta and the blue, I just have to trust here that when I hit the tab key to get to the next shape, then I want to come up here on the Format tab, and I want to bring that forward. And if it doesn't bring it forward, remember, it doesn't mean all the way to the front. It's just one layer at a time. I want to say bring it all the way to the front. There we go. Magenta is all the way on top. Now that's one way to go ahead and bring them forward and bring them back and be able to navigate to get to them without clicking and dragging and moving your shapes by hitting the tab key. The other way without coming up here on the ribbon is to right click. And there you go. Bring forward, bring to front, send to back, or send backward one layer at a time. So that will help you when it comes to stacking objects, pictures, shapes, and layering them one on top of another. And then let me go ahead and click and drag this one back. Wow, this 3D stuff just kind of messes with my mind because now it looks like a uh, box tilted on its side here but without another side in the top. In any case, if I like it like that and I don't want to mess with that, in other words, when I click off and I go, oh, I need to move these, I click and drag, then I have to, once I move them over here, I have to move them one piece at a time and try to get it to back where it was. Kind of messy. Instead, let me go ahead and undo all that. Go ahead and use the grouping feature. So that way I can go ahead and select all of them, group them all together, so Excel sees these, not as separate shapes, but all as one shape. Then I can click and drag and move the entire shape without breaking off one at a time here and having to reassemble it over in another part of my worksheet. So holding down the Shift key, click on the second shape, and then the third shape. You can see all these handles around these three different shapes and then to group them together you can do it one of two ways either come up on the format tab to the arrange group and click on group or right click and then go to group and then group now it sees it as one shape go ahead and click and drag move it to where you need to move it and then if you need to work on them individual shapes right click and go to group and ungroup then select one of your shapes well click off in a blank area select another one and then do whatever you need to do resize it change the color Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.